Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. It's good to be back. Hallelujah. I've been gone for a while because the Lord needed me to rest. So I had to take out some time to rest. And I believe um, I rested well. And I believe that everybody was not at rest too. Because one of the things I've come to understand that when men rest most times, the devil takes advantage of their rest. Yes, the only rest you can rest that battles will not come after you is when you rest in the grave. But as long as you are resting as a man of God, as an individual, as long as you are resting, expect battles. It's a common thing, it's a normal thing. But a lot of us today, we, we shy away from um, this fact. But it's the truth that the devil will not rest until he causes one to rest in pieces. So I want you to understand that the almighty God is said to do what only he alone can do today. God is good. If you believe that, I want you to type God is good. God bless you, Eunice Chuko. I can see you are the very first person coming on board. God bless you, Eunice Chuko. The Lord bless you, Eunice. The Lord bless you. Your time has come. Eunice Chuko, your time has come. Everybody, God bless you. Go ahead and begin to share. I know a lot of you may just, oh, what's wrong with Ambassador? I'm very okay, but I needed to rest. I needed to rest. I needed to rest. The Lord just instructed me to rest. So I had to rest. God bless you all. I want to explain I want to explain to you. I'm sorry, I need to explain to you so that you'll not get scared that something has happened to me. Nothing happened to me. I needed to rest. And there's some time up. Now Jesus was resting one time, and the Bible said, and storm came. That is to say, even while resting, there are storms. Now, while I was preparing, the Lord began to juggle my mind to that experience Jesus had. That while he was resting, when he was not resting, storm did not come after him. But as soon as he chose to rest, storm came. So that is to say there are a lot of people today facing a lot of battles because they are resting too much. So I need you to know that it is good to rest. So I want you to understand that this afternoon is just an hour meeting and I want to try my best to accomplish so much in one hour. And I believe this time will favor you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. All right, go ahead and just begin to share the broadcast. Invite your friends and your family. God bless you, Israel B. Adams, Pastor Israel B. Adams. God bless you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Oh, thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Forever you will be. Forever you will be the lamb upon the throne, the lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow my knees, I gladly bow my knees. To worship you, O Lord, forever you will be, forever you will be, forever you will be, the Lamb upon the throne. The Lamb upon the throne, 
I gladly bow my knees. I gladly bow my knees to worship you, O Lord. O Lord, my God. O Lord, my God. I exalt you. I exalt you, O oh God, O oh Lord, my God, O oh Lord, my God, I exalt you, I exalt you, O oh Lord. Jesus, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to be more like you. Jesus, I Wanna be more like you. I wanna be a vessel you work through. I wanna be more like you. I wanna be more like you. Jesus. I want to be more like you. I want to be a vessel you walk through. I want to be more like you. Dimi, 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 oh, basi, dimi, oh. Dimi, 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 abasi, dimi, oh, abasi, dimi, oh, dimi, oh, dimi, abasi, dimi, oh, dimi, oh, dimi, 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 abasi, dimi, oh. Dimi, 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 abasi, dimi, oh, abasi, dimi, oh, dimi, oh, dimi, abasi, dimi, oh, dimi, oh, dimi, 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 wa, 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 ulu, wa, 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 ulu, wa, wa, Oluwa wa wa o wa Oluwa wa wa o wa 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 zo 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 ala zo 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 ala zo sarikin dunia zo 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 Sorry, can ya zo 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 zo? Father, we bless your name. We say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for all you do. Father, I love you. Lord, we ask that your mercy may be made available. Pour your grace upon my lips, O oh God. Let my voice, O oh Lord, penetrate through every walls of limitation. I decree the atmosphere be favorable to this broadcast. And I ask everyone that needs to be a part of this broadcast, Father, by your spirit, let them begin to come up. 
This one hour meeting, let someone's time manifest. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. God bless you all once again. It's good to be back again. All right, I want everybody to begin to share the broadcast. God bless you, my sister, Ian the Sparkle. How are you holding up? How are you doing? God bless you, Ungozika. God bless you, Godwin Bosali. God bless you, Susan Hall. God bless you. God bless you. Everyone joining now, the Lord bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody begin to duplicate yourself, sharing five times, sharing 10 times. The Lord will bless you as you do that. Now, as you just go ahead to type or to share your broadcast, make sure you just type, my time has come. Just type, go ahead and type it, my time has come. My time has come. My time has come. Go ahead and type it, my time has come. My time has come. I tell you someone's time is today. Someone's time will be set from today. Go ahead and share it. Go ahead and share it. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Make sure you are sharing because your time has come. Your time has come. Yes, everybody keep sharing. Keep sharing. Don't stop. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Remind somebody to join. Remind somebody to join. Father, we bless your name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul, and worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, and worship his holy name. Somebody go ahead and share the broadcast. Make sure you are sharing because something is about to happen the lord bless you all father we bless your name we ask oh god that our prayers be accepted this moment this minute in the name of jesus christ thank you for you hear us always in jesus name we pray your time has come your time has come your time has come all right now let me say this to us that your time is one vital force you need to step into your next level. When time is in favor of you, when time is in favor of men, men begin to play with testimonies. Now, I, 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 I'm, I stand to be corrected, and I want to make this bold statement. Time is one thing you cannot buy. Time is one thing you cannot buy or purchase in the market. Because the Bible even said, redeeming the time. Redeeming time. That means somebody can redeem time. Now, I want to prophesy to 17 persons, 17 of you. That time had been against, that time had not favored, that time has left you bad, that time has left you behind. I want to prophesy to you, 17 of you, may your time be redeemed now. I said, may your time be redeemed now. I said, may God redeem your time now. May your time begin to be redeemed now. Your time will be redeemed. Your time will be redeemed. I don't know what you have missed. I don't know what you have lost to time. But thus says the Lord, your time is now. Because the set time has come. Because your time must be redeemed. Now in the Bible, say in the book of John chapter number 5. John 5 talking about the man by the pool of Bethesda. For 38 years, he was waiting for time. Because he said any time the season of healing comes, he is not ushered into his season because time was against him. So he stayed on the spot for 38 years until our Lord Jesus came to pull him out, 
to redeem him from that time waiting. There are many of you, time has been against your job. Time has been against your education. Time has been against your business. I don't just bring up team or programs. I hear God. The Lord said to me so clear. He said, your time has come. God bless you, Mercy Kebu. Good to see you. Good to have you here. God bless you, Mercy Kebu. God bless you, Solomon. God bless you, sir. Every other person coming up, God bless you. Keep coming. Keep. Please, everybody share. As you share, your time has come. As you share, your time has come. Now, the man by the pool was waiting. Others had help. But one thing I'm going to introduce to you today, even though you have been helpless in life, there is a word that God is going to bring to pass in your life that practically you will begin to see your time begin to walk for you, walk through you, and people will know that actually your time has come. God bless you, Auntie UK. A demo chance. God bless you. A demo chance. God bless you. God bless you. A demo chance. A demo chance. A demo chance. A demo chance. I see speed. It is time for you to run. A demo chance. I don't know who you are, but I see speed. A demo chance. I see speed. I see speed. I see speed. What you have been waiting for, speeding response has begun for you, Idemo Charles. What I say to one, I say to all, a prophecy to one is a prophecy for all. You can connect to it because the Bible said Jesus was going to the house of Jairus' daughter. She was 12 years old and the woman with the issue of blood, she had 12 years issue. So she, she accosted, she, she, she manipulated herself into the timing of that little girl and she got a testimony. So when I'm saying to one, what I say to one, I say to all, I prophesy speed. I prophesy speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Wow. Man of God, Ochuo Stephen, God bless you, man of God. Good to have you here. I had to leave that wonderful hard truth broadcast you were having. That's why I had to just because of my own broadcast. God bless you, sir. May God's word never fail in your mouth. May God's word never fail in your mouth. May grace be increased on your lips. Man of God, Apostle Stephen Eche, may grace be increased on your lips in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, my daughter. Uh, give the buzzerly. God bless you. Your time has come. All right, everybody type it. My time has come. Just type in my time has come. Now, when your time comes, it looks funny. But as soon as your time comes, people begin to clap with you. Because the woman with the issue of lost time has not come. That was why people were avoiding her. But as soon as her time came, she encountered Jesus. And people begin to look at, look at her as a spotlight of the day. Now let me say this to you. When your time comes, even the kingdom of darkness cannot stop it. So I'm just trying to make an introduction because this broadcast is one hour, is one hour. I'm telling you because I want to keep to time. I want to keep to time. Those that keep to time are always on time. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, but I believe a lot of people would be happy if we start keeping to time. So if it's one hour, it's one hour, it's one hour, 15 is one hour, but this is one hour. But I want us to take a prayer. Now, on Friday, is going to be something else. On Friday, 9 p.m., family deliverance meeting is going to be something else. I'll tell you. It's going to be something else. Something else. And I, and I want to take a prayer from that Friday meeting. I'm already preparing for Friday meeting. Yes, tomorrow meeting is still there, afternoon meeting. But that Friday is serious. It's family deliverance service. So I want us to, to take a scripture and pray. And this will be our focus on Friday night. So I want you to begin to see yourself taking advantage of that Friday night. Hallelujah. But I want us to take the prayer from now. How was Easter, everybody? Now, I want to tell you, Easter 
is a very strategic season. But a lot of people do so much Christmas. But I tell you, Easter is very strategic. Everybody, we are my sharing partners. Share 10 times. The Lord bless you as you share 10 times. Now, I want us to see Isaiah 22, verses 25. I want us to take a prayer from there. Isaiah chapter number 22, verse 25. God bless you. Oh, my daughter, Judy Chimwindu. God bless you. God bless you. I'm telling you, Easter is strategic. Now, what could not stop anyone before the time of Jesus' death cannot stop you again? Because as soon as Jesus died and rose again, it was a new level for everyone. So Christmas is important. But Easter is more important. I tell you the truth. Now, I wish I could go into that, but that's not for today. Now, Isaiah chapter 22, Isaiah 22 verse 25. Isaiah 22 verse 25. God bless you. Ruke, where Esther Bozo are my wife. God bless you. In that day, said the Lord of hosts, I didn't say it, God said it. Because the time to make certain statements has come. It says, in that day, said the Lord of hosts, shall the nail, nail that is fastened in the short place be removed. Hmm. Shako Pakayamanama Toba. He said, On that day, this is the day. He said, On that day, the nail, there are many people going through satanic nails that keeps them on the spot in their education, in their life. There's somebody, the Lord just said, There's your sons, <coughs> excuse me. Your son's brain just opened. Your son's brain just opened. There's somebody again, your daughter, her brain just opened. <laughs> you know why I said the brain just opened? It's because you are, it has been a challenge on the educational line. Your son's brain just opened. It just opened now. The law for education just got restored. Because that child, the love for education has been a concern. I just heard it. The brain is open. The brain is open. Kape Koponata. Zobi Kato. The brain is open. In the name of Jesus. Now, let us just take this prayer quickly. It said, and be cut down. It said, it said shall the nail be fastened in the shop place be removed and, and be cut down and fall. And the burden that was on it shall be removed, for the Lord had spoken. Now, let me explain this scripture. I'm going to deal on it on Friday. Don't miss Friday. Don't miss Friday. Now, what this place means, now, there are so many people today that their lives have been on hold. Their life is on pause. Why? Because there are demonic people, satanic people, that have done what? They have conjured and nailed things to trees, to walls. Now, if, if we look through the scripture in Isaiah 22, verse 25, it talks about a tree. Because it says it shall be removed from the place and be cut down. It shall be removed from the place and be what? Cut down. Cut down and fall. So he's talking about a tree. There are some evil trees that we must set on fire on Friday. Then it is time to pull down every satanic tree, every demonic tree responsible for your stagnation, responsible for your repeated battles. He said the nail that was fastened shall be removed. Now there are people, there are evil people storehouses in their villages where they store food but in that storehouse is where they are affecting your finances 
There are some people, there are certain calabash that are hung on the wall. They hang certain evil calabashes with nails on the wall. Please share this broadcast. Everybody share 10 times. There are people today, they are suffering from evil nails that have been nailed to the wall. Now, there are pictures that have been nailed to the wall. There are pictures that have been nailed to trees. We want to take this prayer now. Every demonic nail, the time to be removed has come. The time to be removed has come. There are people today suffering from stagnation in their businesses. There are some young children today, they can't cross certain level in their businesses. Why? They have been nailed to a spot. You are going to say, my father, my father, every spot I have been nailed to, every spot I have been nailed to, by the power of resurrection, I'm coming out of it. I'm coming out of it. I'm coming out of it. Every spot I have been nailed to, every spot of stagnation, I want to type it and pray it. Every spot of stagnation, I have been Delta, as I pray now, I come off it uh, by the power of resurrection. Now, uh, open your mouth and begin to pray. Uh, every spot, uh, every spot I have been nailed to, uh, every line uh, that have been drawn for me, uh, Lord, I cross them uh, by the power of resurrection. Now, uh, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let koso brekatoba lima tobaya ese brokotaba ise it has been nailed. There are people today. Uh, they have nailed them to the to the sick bed. Uh, they have nailed them to drugs. Uh, they have nailed them to habit. Uh, they have nailed them to 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 drugs. Uh, to 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 hard drugs. Uh, they have nailed them to bad characters. Uh, I don't know who has nailed it, but the nail is coming off. What the nail? The nail is there to keep it sure. The nail is there to keep it static. The nail is there to keep it stagnant. The nail is there to keep it on hold. The nail is there to keep it on pause. I pray for you today. Every limitation, every stagnation, by the power of resurrection, you are coming out by fire. By force, as you are coming up 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 by force, where they nailed you out, you are coming out of it, as you are coming out of it, as you are coming out of it, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Like I said on Friday night, 9 p.m., by the grace of God, we are going to handle this part. I'm going to be taking it one after the other. We're going to be dealing with that. Hallelujah. Pepo Koto Braga. Habakkuk chapter number two, verse three. The book of Habakkuk chapter number two, verse three. Habakkuk chapter number two, verse three. Hallelujah. Habakkuk three, two, verse three. Sorry. My God. Somebody type in, my time has come. Go ahead and type it, my time has come. Just go ahead and type it, my time has come. Kopei Kabalabash. Habakkuk 2 verse 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But it, at end, it will speak. <laughs> the vision is for an appointed time. But at the end, it will speak. And not lie, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. What is the prayer point here? Father, let my appointed time begin to speak. These were prayer points the Lord gave to me for us to take. A lot of people have missed their appointed time. Please share this broadcast. Don't watch alone. Share this broadcast. Share this broadcast. There are people's appointed time that the enemies are fighting. 
There are people today, their appointed time is fought against. It is time to pray your appointed time to pass. He said it will speak. That is to say, your life will not speak until your time comes. Your life will not speak until your time comes. When you see a man enjoying the help of God, the favor of God is because his time has come. Many of you most times think, oh, when will my time come? Oh, when will this happen? Oh, when, when will I be favored? When will I get married? You don't talk about marriage when your time has not come. You may be wishing it, but until your time is set, I tell you, you may never. That miracle will not speak. That expectation will not speak. That wedding will not speak. That car will not speak. Until the time I pointed comes. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, let my appointed time speak. Type it and pray it. Share this broadcast. Type it and pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let my appointed time speak. Let the appointed time for my daughters to get married speak. Let the appointed time for my visa to manifest speak. Let the appointed time speak. Let the appointed time of my husband's traveling speak. Let the appointed time of my husband's visa speak. Let the appointed time of my job speaker let the appointed time out of my pregnancy speaker hear my child of god as you pray this prayer until your appointed time come nothing speaks nothing speaks everywhere remains silence until the time appointed come so i professor as you are praying right now your appointed time will manifest i say your appointed time will speak and manifest i say your appointed time will speak and manifest i say your appointed time will speak and manifest Wherever you are watching me from, all over the world, I decree your appointed time will speak and it will manifest. I say your appointed time will speak and it will manifest. Wherever you are watching me from, I decree by the decree of the watchers, may the appointed time of your daughter manifest. May the appointed time of your daughter speak. May the appointed time of your children speak. May the appointed time of your job speak. May the appointed time of your promotion speak. The Bible said in Habakkuk chapter 2, there is an appointed time. I decree your appointed time will manifest. I say your appointed time will manifest in the name of Jesus. Now hear this. We are going to take this next prayer quickly. The next prayer we are going to take is this. Is from... Genesis chapter number 18, verse 14. Genesis 18, verse 14. Hallelujah. Keep sharing the broadcast. Genesis 18, verse 14. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? Now, you think things are hard. It's just because your time has not come. But as soon as your time comes, everything begins to speak. He said, at the appointed time, I will return, Kabayada, unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. You are going to pray. Now, your testimony is connected to your appointed time. You are going to pray. Lord, let my appointed time miracle start from today. Let the appointed time for my miracle begin to happen from now. Let the appointed time of my children's miracle begin to happen from now. Open your mouth and turn to prayer. The appointed time of your children's miracle. Let it begin to happen from now. Let it begin to manifest from now. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Let
let my appointed time manifest her. Let my appointed time manifest her. Let my appointed time manifest her. Until your appointed time manifests, your miracle can never manifest. So I want you to take this prayer very serious. Until the appointed time of Sarah was set, that was when her miracle manifest. I pray for someone today. I don't know why I'm hearing this. There is someone's son. Your son has been waiting for something. I don't know what it is, but I don't heard heaven has released the appointed time. Your son is waiting. I don't know what it is, but there's something, someone that is watching me now. Your son has been waiting for it. I just heard it now. Heaven has released the appointed time. Just type, my time has come. Somebody type, my time has come. The appointed time the Lord will change your story has come. The appointed time the Lord will change your story has come. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The appointed time. The Lord will change the story of your son has come. I don't know who this person is, but I believe you can connect to this prophecy. There is something, I'm seeing it. I'm hearing it so clear. It's something that will take this son of yours to the next level. I see God saying the time has come. And now is the time in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want you to understand your time has come. Your time has come. All right. Psalm 102 verse 13. Psalm 102 verse 13. That is our scripture for this program. Psalm 102 verse 13. De Copa Ecolo Braga. Psalm 102, verses number 13. The Bible says, Thou shalt arise <laughs> and have mercy on, on Zion for the time to favor her. Yet the time the set time is come. He said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Listen to me, people of God. I'm preaching on my time has come. My topic is my time has come. So go ahead and type it. My time has come. Time is very important. Time is very important. Everybody have the same 24 hours. But there are people that 24 hours is not enough. Why? Because of what they are engaged in. What they are doing. When your time comes, so many things begins to happen. The Bible says, thou shalt arise. Who was it talking about? It was talking about God. God bless you, Pastor Abraham Moses. Onos omokare, omokake. Is it omokake? God bless you. Agbonifo, God bless you. This one, God bless you. God bless you. When God arrives, your time arrives. <laughs> when the Lord was saying this to me, I was jotting it down. He says, son, when I arrive, when, I, when your time comes, and when I arise, I mean to say, your time arrives. Somebody said, when God ar arises, my time arrives. Somebody type it on the comment section. When God arrives, my time arrives. Somebody go ahead and type it. When the time arrives, 
is because when people begin to celebrate, oh, this is happening in somebody's life. Oh, one year he got married. One year he got he got got the car, got the house. Is because that person's time has arrived. Is because God just arose on behalf of that person, and the person's time arrived. I have seen people the same year they got married, the same year they got a car, the same year they got they got a child, they got their their, their child. Everything began to happen in their life continuously. You know why? Because their time has come. When God arrives, your time arrives. Time happens to everyone, but some. It favors them. Some, it doesn't favor them. There are people, time favors them. Some, time does not favor them. But I pray for you today, time will favor you. As, as I, you watch this broadcast, time will favor you. I need you to know, God does not arise without a reason. God does not arise without a reason. As soon as God arises, your season has come. The man by the pool of Bethesda was there for 38 years. As soon as God arrived, his time came. The reason why you are yet to testify is because your time has not come. But I came to initiate your time in this broadcast. I decree your time has come. There are problems that eat your time. There are some of you problems of eating your time. It can be as to strike. <laughs> it can be financial problems that makes certain people not to achieve certain time in their life. There are problems that eat times. They make a day become months. They make a month become years. They make a year become years. They are time eaters. No wonder the Bible said the years, the canker one, the locusts and the caterpillars have eaten. The Lord said, I will restore. Why? They don't eat food. They eat your time. They eat your years. There are many people suffering from these time eaters. I prophesy every time eater in your life. May God remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No matter what had held you down or bound, as God arises, your time arrives. Freedom happens. Whenever you hear, let God arise, you just engage the Holy Ghost. You know, a lot of us make this mistake hmm, thinking the Almighty God will come down from heaven because of you. No. It is the Holy Ghost that has been given in charge to rule. That was why when Paul and Silas began to pray, when Paul and Silas began to sing, it was the Holy Ghost that came down. So anytime you see a move on the earth, it's the Holy Ghost. Now don't forget, the Holy Ghost is God himself. Is God himself. So the almighty God and his son Jesus and the Holy Ghost, they are one. But everyone is a God in different departments. But this place David was talking about in the book of Psalm, he said, let the Holy Ghost arise. Anytime the Holy Ghost arises, power arrives. Anytime the Holy Ghost is teared up to arise, power is released. After now, receive power. Hallelujah. Nothing 
can prevail against the movement of the Holy Ghost. Not even a prison yard can stop the Holy Ghost. Not even a prison gate can stop the Holy Ghost. Not even the marine powers, witches and wizards, all court can stop the Holy Ghost. As soon as the Holy Ghost arrives, time changes for your favor. Time changes in your favor as soon as the Holy Ghost arrives. As soon as the Holy Ghost arrives, anything has been eating your time in the hospital, it disappears. The appearance of the Holy Ghost is the disappearance of your problems. Nothing conquers the Holy Ghost. When he arrives, everything begins to rise suddenly. <laughs> Somebody said, thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody said, thank you, Holy Ghost. As soon as Paul and Silas began to pray, it was the Holy Ghost that came down. <laughs> I need us to know that David here was referring to the Holy Ghost when the Holy Ghost arise in the affairs of humans. Three things happen. Three things happen. Can I tell you? Number one, mercy arrives. Mercy arrives. Number two, freedom happens. Number three, judgment is initiated. Number one, when the Holy Ghost arises, these three things happen, like I said. Number one, mercy. <laughs> mercy, Kebu. <laughs> God bless you. Mercy. is seen. Freedom is gotten. Judgment is initiated. Mercy pulls out your time. I want to rush on this now. Mercy brings forth your time. Mercy brings forth your time. Mercy pulls out your time. Mercy makes your time happen. Listen to me, child of God. There is something I know that no matter what you should lack, never lack the mercy of God. Mercy allows your time to happen. When mercy comes, delay is dismantled. Mercy ushers humans into God's favor. Mercy ushers humans into God's favor. When mercy is involved, your set time will manifest. Mercy makes even the unqualified to still receive favor. Mercy. 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 That's why a lot of people say, oh, how is it? Some unbelievers, they still get this, they still get that. It's his mercy. They are enjoying the mercy of God. You cannot talk about favor without mercy. Any man you notice is enjoying favor is because of mercy. It's because of what? Mercy. Somebody say, I receive mercy. Somebody say, I receive mercy. When you see a person experiencing God's genuine favor, it's because that individual has attracted the mercy of God. May you attract God's mercy after now. I said, may you attract God's mercy after now. Hallelujah. Praise God. I have not seen a man or woman that carries God's mercy that lacks God's favor. I have never seen a man or a woman that carries God's mercy and lacks God's favor. Mercy makes you qualify. For God's favor and grace and glory. You can't talk about grace and glory without mercy. Hallelujah. Blind Bartimaeus knew he said time has come. Why? Because of mercy. Blind Bartimaeus connected to mercy and his healing came. Do you want to enjoy healing now? Mercy. The mercy of God attracts all the goodness of God. Oh my God. 
The mercy of God attracts every good thing of God. Every good thing of God comes through mercy. Mercy is a door. You should never pray to shut against you. <laughs> mercy is a door. You should pray. It's never shut against you. We are my sharing partners. Everybody share 10 times. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So he connected to mercy to get his healing. Mercy breaks protocols. Mercy breaks protocols. When mercy is initiated, heaven comes to terms with the earth. Can I say that again? When mercy is initiated, heaven comes to terms with the earth. Uh, when God shows a nation mercy, the nation and its citizens begin to experience people. Mercy. When this mercy comes, there, there's going to be a resetting in the rest of the spirit. It is mercy that resets a man's time, even though the time has passed. It is mercy that resets a man's time. Oh, I believe it was mercy that reset a man's time called General Olushago Basanjo. How can a man from prison to palace when his name is not Joseph? It's mercy. It's mercy. <laughs> Someone's time will be reset now. I mean now. Now. I am very sure because the Lord said it and you must believe it. God is resetting people's time. God bless you and to UK Bao. You have shared more than 10 times. I pray for you. May the God that favors men cause your favor to happen in a hurry. As you share 10 times or more than 10 times, please let me know. I need to rush this now. I have 10 minutes more. Hallelujah. The Bible said the set time is come. That is to say, if the time has not come, nothing can be done. If your time has not come, nothing can be done. A lot of you think you are failures. The Lord have me to tell you, you are not a failure. I heard him so clearly say, tell them you are not a failure. They are not failures. It is because your time has not come. That's why a lot of people say you are a failure. Benedicta, he had a Benedicta. Do you know where your time comes now? I tell you, there are certain things that cannot stop your husband, cannot stop you. Hallelujah. The Lord said to me, in this meeting, it's going to be resetting people's time. And right now, I want you to type it eight times. I wrote it on my jotter. I, I jotted it down, as the Lord was saying. He said, tell them to say it eight. Eight is a number of new beginning. As you type this, my time, my set time, I mean, just that my set time has come. Eight times, not times eight. Write me, my set time has come. My set time has come. He said, as soon as you start, write that, he said, people will begin to experience it. Instruction provokes your time. The Bible said, I think in First Kings chapter number six, there about or Second Kings six, Second Kings six. Yeah, I think Second Kings six. The Bible said, and he said to Naaman, "Dip yourself seven times." Instruction. As soon as he dipped himself seven times, oh my God! Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. I see God. Doing what he alone can do. I see people's time being set once again. I see your time. So, sorry, Second Kings chapter number five, verse one. Second Kings five. That's where Elisha said to Naaman, "Go and dip yourself seven times." Listen to me. Instruction brings your time to pass. As you type it eight times, I decree, your set time begins now. In life, many are late and time is against them. 
I came to change that time that is against you. After now, after now, your set time, your set time has come. When a time, when your wristwatch is late, what do you do? You reset it. Oh, there are people, as soon as Messi Kebu can attest to this, Messi Kebu, you can attest to this, that as soon as you left America for Africa, your time changed. So there are certain situations that changes time. Tomorrow I'm going to be dealing on that change of time. Because some people's time must change. Hallelujah. Praise God. Receive a new time. Receive your new time. Receive your new time. Receive your new time. There are powers assigned to monitor your time also. Today, I arrest them by fire. I arrest them by fire. So there are people, certain things causes the change of their time. One of the things that can make your time change is sin. One of the things that can still change your time again is dishonor. Mm -hmm. And the third thing that can change your time is disobedience. Number one, what? Sin. Number two, dishonor. Number three, disobedience. See, there is nothing that can keep a person on a spot like dishonor. When you are supposed to honor those you are you are supposed to honor, you are not honoring them. You begin to suffer dishonor. I pray for you. May time favor you. I say time will favor you. Everyone watching me, I want you to begin to thank the Lord for this broadcast because I know your time has come. It's a year, the set time to favor has come. Yeah, it is the time. Now, it's your time to be favored. You are going to open your mouth and pray. You are going to say, Lord, it is my time to be favored. Favor me. You are going to say, my father, my father, it is written. It is my time to be favored. Lord, favor me. Lord, favor me. I did write the Bible, and if you believe in scriptures, scriptures cannot be broken. If God said it, believe it. Somebody said, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, oh God, it is written according to Psalm 102 verse 13, that my set time has come to be favored. I receive my favor. I receive my favor. Open your mouth and turn to prayer. Liko poto braga de palata. My set time to be favored. My set time to be healed has come. My set time to carry my baby. My set time to carry my testimony. Your set time has come. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mercy, Kebu, the time for your children has come. Their set time has come. Their set time has come, Mercy, Kebu. Your sons, mostly your sons, their set time has come. I prophesy their time has come. Their time has come. De poco paya capelash. Zipo koto bragadabaya. Ye me kopoyota. Gifts. A bosom, your time has come. Chijoke, free man. Obodo, your time has come. There are people that are saying there's a woman watching me. You are asking, when will your son time come? The Lord said, in the realms of the spirit, his time is set already. And his time has come. In the name of Jesus. It is time for those that are sick to be healed now. If you are sick in your body, put your hand there. There's somebody watching me. You didn't sleep well at night. You had a troubled night. The time has come. And you are feeling so much headache right now. The time for the headache to go has come. I command the headache disappear in the name of Jesus. That headache, hear ye the word of the Lord, out of that head now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. There's somebody migraine headache. I command that headache to disappear now 
in the name of Jesus. There's somebody, your neck, your neck, your neck. I command that neck pain to disappear now. In the name of Jesus, that neck pain disappears now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Someone's leg pain. Someone is going through a leg pain. You hit your leg and you have been feeling pains. I command that pain disappear now. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere you want a healing, put your hand there right now. The time the Lord said to me, anytime I pray for the sick and I say the time to be healed has come, there's going to be healing. Right now, the time to be healed has come. I pray for you, anyone that is healed, be healed right now. Be healed, be healed. I stretch forth my right hand. The right hand of God is power. As you stretch your hands to me everywhere you need a miracle, be healed now. In Jesus' name. Someone has an eye pain. I decree your eye be normal in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Someone is having a very serious stomach upset. Right now, that pain disappears. Thank you, Lord. Someone is having an, a very, I don't, I don't know why I'm hearing, an ugly, heavy flow. An ugly, heavy menstrual flow. And the pain is so much. Right now, I decree, flow without much pain. Flow without pains in Jesus' name. There's somebody again, your waist, waist pain. Right now, check it. The pain is gone in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you all. The Lord give you a miracle to testify because your time has come. Somebody say, my time has come. Everybody, as we are closing right now, go ahead and type, my time has come. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. As you are, as we are rounding up, just type, my time has come in the name of Jesus. All right, tomorrow by 1 p.m. Nigerian time, 7 a.m. American time, 1 p.m. United Kingdom time, I will be back on air tomorrow. So don't miss it tomorrow's section. Don't miss it. And don't miss Friday, my God. Friday is going to be bloody. By the grace of God, one hour, 30 minutes, we are going to be praying it's going to be an hour prayer, acidic prayers. Certain things, we are going to be going to your villages. We are going to be going to your villages, I'm telling you. I, I do So many testimonies I can't, because of during my rest period, so many testimonies happen. So much happen. So much happen. There's one testimony. Uh, I was talking to one of us, he's a war room member, and all of a sudden he said, my sister is sick, I'm looking for money. I said, don't. I said, if you send that money, something will happen to you. There will be a replacement. In fact, I told him, I said, they, they gave me a prophecy, you should send money. The Yoruba call it Rakbada. That's uh, redemption. Redemption seed. And I told him, if you try it, I said, because she will die. I said, your sister is going to die. She has been wicked, you know. He said, yes. That he does not know what he did to his sister. I said, then, then let her go. Let her go. I said it to him on Friday. She died on Sunday morning. And he sent me a seed, Thanksgiving seed. There are people that must die on Friday night. I'm telling you, by Saturday, people, there is someone's uncle that will die between Saturday and Sunday. Between this Saturday and Sunday. Because their time to die has come. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I decree your time has come. Join me tomorrow. The Lord will bless you as you join me. Don't forget, if you want to give your offering, please, this is the best time to give. This is the best time to give. And say, Lord, I give so that my time will come. My children's time will come. You know, there are so many destinies that their time is being delayed. I'm going to be sharing that with us tomorrow. So many people's time have been delayed. So many children's time have been delayed. So, if you want to give, go ahead and give on behalf of your children. You can give on your behalf also. And give on behalf of your business. The time for this business to grow has come. The account number is being displayed on the screen. The Lord bless you. And as you give, you are blessed. Wow. Jennifer. Amarachuku Jennifer. 
Chi Dubem. Woo, wonderful name. God bless you. Good to have you here, Jennifer. God bless you. Thank you so much. I decree it is well with you all. All right. Let me just say a word of blessing to everybody that is going to be giving. The Lord bless you as you give. I decree the set time for your business to rise has come. The set time for your financial outburst has come. The set time for you to be favored by men and women has come. I pray for you all as you give to this ministry. May you not lack in Jesus mighty name we pray lord bless you all right for those of you i want to give let me just put up the account number four three eight eight five seven three seven hallelujah praise god All right, that's that's the Nigerian account details. So God bless you as you give. If you want to give, our dollar account is uh, is working, it's active. So you can send me a message. My phone number is on the display there also. So let me put it up so that you can give me a call if need be. God bless you. Three four eight zero. Six nine one nine zero nine seven nine. God bless you. That's my phone number, and this is the only number I use. So God bless you. Thank you so much, all. Thank you, Pastor Abraham Moses. Thank you all. You can give me a call anytime, any day. The Lord will bless you. Shalom. See you tomorrow. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. All right. I'll do my best to always keep the time like this so that you can have much time because one of the things i think people are complaining we spend much time oh don't worry i'm going to be cutting the time now and i believe you have been blessed today share the broadcast tomorrow god bless you mercy careful god bless you in the sparkle god bless you my wife bridget or zigbe god bless you god bless you god bless you all thank you see you all tomorrow in jesus name hallelujah